Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's do science. I'm very excited too, children. If you want to join in with us at Christendom TV, here's what you will need. In order to do science, you will need three things. First of all, you need a world out there. Can you all do that, children? A world out there. Very good, that's right. You need one rationally comprehensible universe. Not just any universe. You'll need to be particular here. It must be a rationally comprehensible, rationally ordered cosmos. Not a chaos, a cosmos. I really must insist on this point. If you skimp on this ingredient and opt for one of those cheaper random universes, it's almost certain that your science won't work and you'll be nothing but helium hanging in a cold dead expanse of microwave radiation. So boys and girls, trust me on this, you need a world out there and it is well worth splashing out on a properly ordered universe. You'll thank me later. Uh, secondly, we're going to need laws up above. Can you do that children? Laws up above. Very good. You will need one consistent set of discoverable laws. Now don't worry if you don't know what those laws are yet, that's kind of the point, isn't it? It's fun to discover them. But even if you don't know what the laws are yet, you need to trust that there are discoverable, rationally ordered laws. And what's that? How do we know that there is such a profound cosmic harmony to explore? Well, children, if you've been following our lesson plan on Christendom TV, I'd have thought that would be obvious to you by now. But listen, if you're genuinely starting to doubt the reality of cosmic harmony, your science will suffer. So I suggest going back to lesson one in the curriculum and working your way back here. As you may realize, science really does require some pretty extraordinary faith commitments, so it's best to get your foundations firm. Okay, so thirdly, you will need minds in here. Can you do that, children? Minds in here. Very good. Uh, you need rational minds to, to grasp the mysteries of the cosmos. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, where am I going to get a rational mind from? Well, once again, children, I urge you not to be seduced by the cheap imitations. Some children will tell you they can knock up a rational mind just by turbocharging some old bits of brain. But seriously, if you want to trust mere brain chemistry, physics, away in your skull, that's your own lookout. My recipe calls for minds. Don't come to my class with mere brains that are adapted only to the needs of survival. In my classroom, we deal with minds, minds that respond to truth. That, if you ask me, is the only sustainable way to do science. But uh, I'm old-fashioned like that. Well, there you have it, the three ingredients you need to do science. Can we remember them? There's an ordered world out there, there's laws up above, and there's minds in here. Now, before you all complain, before you all complain, I know that none of you can afford these ingredients. I'm sorry about that. When we're dealing with such valuable things, there's really no way around it. All I can say to you is this, if you want to do science, and I sincerely hope that you do, children, you can't take shortcuts. You must have these ingredients. And if you don't have them, and you don't, then ask a grown-up. <laughs>